ABC Sports Raycom College Basketball. Brought to you by Pizza Hut, where great food and fun times bring people together. Buick and your local dealers. Remember Buick, the new symbol for quality in America. The new Gillette Sensor XL with micro fins that set up your beard for the world's best shave. And Dean Witter, there are many ways to measure success. Dean Witter measures success one investor at a time. We are back live at the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln, Nebraska, getting set for the opening tip-off for this, the 14th meeting ever between these two teams. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mark Jones in the house along with Terry Gannon. Terry, an interesting matchup of styles. How do you see this game this afternoon? The showing of the guards today, Mark, here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Two of the best backcourts in the nation, I think, for Nebraska. The best backcourt in the Big 8, Eric Strickland along with Jerron Boone. And for Michigan State, Sean Respert, who is all everything for the Spartans. And Eric Snow, a point guard, is really coming around. The NBA scouts love him right now. So two teams that love to shoot from the outside and get up and down the floor. Run and gun and sleep in the streets is the motto of today's game. Let's take a look at the Toyota starting lineups. Michigan State with four returning starters from a year ago. Garavaglia, Brooks, Fike, Respert, and Eric Snow at the guard. Nebraska with two remaining starters from a year ago. Badgett, Brooks, Moore, Boone, and Strickland, the guy that Terry referred to just moments ago. Michigan State comes in with a record of 2-0 overall, while Nebraska is 5-1, and they are coming fresh off the heels of an impressive victory against Creighton a couple nights ago. We are set for the opening tip-off. We have an all-Big Ten referee crew this afternoon. Fike wins the opening tip, but it's a violation. It'll come back the other way for Nebraska. Mark, as you watch today's game, we talked about the backcourts, and I really do believe Danny Nee has the best backcourt in the Big 8 this year. He's done a great job. His ninth year, he's taken them to four straight NCAA tournaments. But the inside game may be where it's won or lost. Michigan State with more beef inside. Nebraska a little bit quicker. We'll see how they match up. Michigan State coming out in its traditional man-to-man straight-up defense. Strickland driving, hanging and getting it to go. Strickland is the type of guy that can make his own shot just like that. And with this guy, Eric still pushes the basketball up the floor right away. Michigan State trying to get it up, get an easy one. And that's another key today. Nebraska getting back on the first possession. If one of these two teams can get out and run, they'll have a big time rally throughout this game. It may be a game of runs up and down the floor. A good sign for Nebraska not allowing Snow to score after that basket. Here's Respert, and that's why they call him Top Gun in Michigan State. Respert, the all-time three-point shooting leader at Michigan State. And before it's all over, he may indeed may be the all-time leading scorer in Michigan State history. Traveling that time, called on Strickland, so Nebraska with its first turnover of the afternoon. Over 14,000 in Devaney Sports Center today. Who said anything about football out here in Nebraska? <laughs> huh? they, they play football in Lincoln? They do have a pretty good basketball program. People taking note, and Danny Nee, a big part of the reason why. Nebraska in the straight man-to-man, -man, but they like to switch in their man-to-man, -man, so you have to make that adjustment as an offense. Normally, the man who sets the screen is open against a switching man-to-man -man defense. Interesting matchup, Respert against Strickland. Strickland, their stopper. That's Brooks with the runner that is no good. Rebound to Badgett. Now quickly to Brooks. You won't see many of Nebraska's big guys look to score. They come from the guards like that one there, Boone. By Boone against Respert. What a great matchup early on this year. And Respert quickly back at you. Brooks comes over the top and he is whistled for the foul. Quinton Brooks with his first personal foul. That's the first team foul of the game, the 6'8 junior out of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, whistled for the infraction. Quentin Brooks, one of those guys who Judd Heathcote really expects a lot of this year. He's got great balance so far. All five of their starters in double figures. Very pleased with the way things have gone so far. Boone posting up Respert down low on the blocks, Terry. And he's got some height on him, too. And that's one of the questions about Sean Respert, his defense. They're, the coaches from Michigan State say he's really improved that way. But I think in terms of the NBA and scouts, that's what they want to see him improve on. Boom! Well, you cannot lay off 
of Deron Boone. I mean, Westbrook gave him way too much room that time. And he paid a dear price. The three-pointer puts Nebraska up by score seven to two. And that brings the crowd collectively to their feet. Garavaglia, rebound Boone, and they're out and running. Strickland, the bank is closed. Scramble, Michigan State comes up with it. This is snow. Rejected by Brooks. Oh, he got hit that time. Strickland missing, and the basket will not count if it falls, which it doesn't. And it's back the other way. This is the kind of tempo that we talked about. <laughs> you out of breath yet? <laughs> Up and down. Hey, both teams are going to try to run. And you look at Eric Snow. I think he gets hit on top of the head. No call. All of a sudden, on Nebraska coming the other way. Neither team is going to settle for stopping the fast break. They want to come right back at each other. Here's Brooks. Throws it up wildly off the glass. Nebraska with numbers. Brooks. Badgett with the hoop, and it's a seven-point advantage for Nebraska. Now, this is where your senior leadership has to come to play for Michigan State. A Westbrook getting a big bucket, trying to take the crowd out of it. And when you have a senior backcourt like they be normally on the road, you don't get down early. I mean, they're down by seven right now, but that's when Eric Snow makes sure he gets the ball in the hands of Sean Reston. Snow takes it himself Ooh. and got it to fall. Or else he shoots it. Either way, it's yeah. snowing. <laughs> it's snowing indoors. <laughs> Badgett, who scored that last bucket. Danny Nee, Terrier, was talking about Nebraska not filling the lanes well enough offensively, but right here, it's Michigan State out of the break. Brooks walks. And the basket won't count. 15-36 remaining in the first half. Nebraska asking Santa for a win this afternoon. We'll be back. Gillette introduces the next revolution in shaving closeness. Micro fins. And they're only on the new Sensor XL. These micro fins precede the blades. As Sensor XL's spring mounted blades adjust to your face, these soft, flexible fins gently stretch your skin so your beard stands up for the closest, most comfortable shave. Get closer than ever before. Get the new Gillette Sensor XL. About 65 miles south of the nearest stoplight, and two miles up in the Rocky Mountain sky, you'll find skiers heaven, also known as Telluride Ski Mountain, where the skiing's perfect and the views are even better. And whether you're going to extremes or just going for a lesson, don't go without your visa card, because at Telluride Ski Mountain, they'll let you take the plunge, but they won't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. As soon as a State Farm customer calls with a claim, I'm right on the phone to our claim center. We work as partners. Nancy gives me the information, then I contact our customer. We've settled hundreds of claims together. John's attitude is... You've got to be quick, and you've got to be fair. Quick and fair. At State Farm, teamwork is what it's all about. We make a great team. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It may be December, but the action is hot. The Chiefs and the Dolphins give it all they got. A look at the pleading countenance of Judd Heathcote in his 19th and final season as head coach of Michigan State. He's a winner. Still going strong. We watched practice last night, and he has not let up one bit. He had the commentary running throughout the entire practice, but uh, hard to believe for the folks in East Lansing that this is his last year. It's the end of an era, and a very successful one in Michigan basketball. Nebraska with the ball. Salee has checked into the game. The postman, 6'10", inch junior, out of Scottsdale, Arizona. He's in the post now for Nebraska. Now you got Chester Searles in there, too, the man right here taking the shot. Didn't wait to get a sweat, did he? No, he did not. Badgett with the rebound, and he takes it back out for the Huskers. Yeah, Searles only a freshman. Not a bad idea to go up and down the floor a few times before you take your first shot. And Michigan State not shooting very well. Nebraska's shots have been fairly easy. 
to this point. And they're getting good ones. Yeah, they sure are. Snow back the other way for Michigan State. Respert, who's hit one, make that two. He has a feathery, soft touch, averaging 21 points per contest coming into this one. And the lead now down to three points for Nebraska. Basically a three-guard offense right now for Nebraska with Churls in there. And if you count Badgett as well, who's about 6'6", six, six, you know, almost four guards, Salih the only big man. Salih missing, but at least being aggressive. Nice cut back door to Strickland. Good basketball. Back quickly comes Snow. Foul that time and called. So Snow will get two. This is a no-cheer offense for Dud Heathrow. Uh, if you're going to get back on defense and be talking about the, the hoop that you just got or the slam you just made, you're going to get burned. You know, Eric Snow, a guy who I think Denny Crum, the Louisville Cardinals, still have nightmares about. They beat Louisville last week at home, and Eric Snow just ran up the backs of the Cardinals. Easy way to get buckets right after a basket when you push it up that way if the opposition isn't ready for it. Snow at the line. This is the first of two. Snow at 16 and a half points a game. And just four of seven on the year. Make that three of seven on the season for the line. Had the big 10 and assist last year, may do it again this year. Is shooting the one thing that people call in the question. And Terry, when you have a point guard that's not a good foul shooter, it can really hurt your team in key situations. Uh, he's got the, the ball in his hands late in the game. He's going to control the ball, so you're absolutely right. He's going to go to the line more often than not in the last four minutes of the game. Approaching the 14-minute mark to go in the first half, Nebraska leading by four points. Tom Wall just checked into the game for Nebraska. That's Badgett missing the layup. Respert controls it. Well, they've had some easy shots, though, haven't they? They've missed the last couple of times down the floor. But getting good looks. Respert with a good look. <laughs> hey, if he can see the basket, it's a good look. That's redundant when you say he's got a good look. He always has a good look at the rim. Respert with another three. Wow. And Michigan State within one point. Eight to two run for Michigan State after the timeout. Boom. With a little string music of his own. Brooks misses the easy finger roll. Searles. Rebound Bethea controlled by Fike. Guess what? We're going up the floor again. And a foul called, Terry, on Jerron Boone. That's his first. As more substitutions come into the game. Mikey Moore coming into the game. And don't forget, coming up next, top pairs from the senior PGA and LPGA tours are showcased in the first ever Diners Club matches. Headlining the pairings, Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer, Jim Dent, and Chichi Rodriguez. It's all coming up next year on ABC Sports. Uh, two some of Palmer and Nicklaus winning their first round match yesterday. Those guys have won a few uh, oh, tournaments yeah. in their time. The Michigan State getting plenty of second opportunities, but not converting. Two on one, Strickland and Boone. And a charge called on Strickland, an easy call to make. Boy, what a smart play by Eric Snow. Standing in there, he didn't try to strip the ball, he didn't reach, he just held his ground, and Eric Strickland a little bit out of control. He's a young man who the last couple of years actually played professional baseball. He played for the Florida Marlins in their chain, and they really think that he's just starting to learn the game, Eric Strickland. And Snow that time took advantage of uh, a little bit of uh, inexperience on Strickland's part. And when you look at the size and the weight of Strickland, it takes a lot of guts and fortitude to stand in there, take a charge on a guy that's coming at you full tilt. You feel that one on Monday morning, not only Sunday. Twelve and a half minutes to play in the first half. Nebraska leading by four. Garavaglia. No basket, a charge call. The hoop will not count, and that gets Judd Heathcote up off the bench. Well, and Garavaglia, someone on Judd Heathcote's uh, list, shall we say. I mean, they, the same thing is true of Garavaglia. He's got great talent, but he's just not gotten to the point where they think he can get. And that was a bad decision at that end. Had a little jump shot, 10, 12 footer, and he elected to take it in. And a whistle and a foul called against Nebraska this time. It's called against Melvin Brooks. That's the fourth team foul against Nebraska. Team shot.
shooting the bonus on the seventh. You talked about Garavaglia and yesterday at practice, boy, <laughs> Judd Heathcote was on him in a big way and made the hair on the back of his neck curl up a few times. You and I were intimidated sitting on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. Snow throws it away and gets it back. 14 seconds left on the shot clock, walled on Snow. Straight up man defense by Nebraska. Boy, nice denial by Strickland. Making it tough for Weathers to get the basketball and the cards and the turnover. That's set up by the denial on the wing, Mark. Just great defense. Danny Nee squad causing the turnover. Michigan State trailing by four. Stay with us. We'll be right back. From its idealized engineering to its sculpted aerodynamics, it has been designed to be as beautiful to drive as it is to look at. The 1995 Toyota Celica, including the all-new convertible. What else would you expect from a company that approaches manufacturing as an art? Control is everything. Once you got it, everything else just falls in place. That's why I use this stuff, Perk Plus. One smart shampoo, control enhancing conditioners for hair that's easy to handle. It just works. My hair does what I want. That's enough for me. Perk Plus. Straight hair, no fuss. 1879, Siemens invents the first electric locomotive, top speed 10 miles an hour. That was then. This is now. Today, Siemens technology can connect cities at over 200 miles an hour and carries millions of commuters with more comfort and convenience all across America. Transportation is just one of Siemens' vast array of technologies that help keep America on the move. Siemens, precision thinking. Undefeated Penn State stakes its claim to the national title when they battle Pac-10 champ Oregon. It's the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, January 2nd on ABC. <laughs> Nebraska leading by four points with 11.47 remaining in the first half. Danny Nee in his ninth year as head coach at Nebraska, really building this program into one of the top ones in the nation. Just sitting on the cusp right now. Four straight years in the NCAA tournament. A lot of people thought he would take the Seton Hall job last summer. And then he had talks with the Hall. But we talked to him yesterday. He loves it here. He says he's got a great situation here. And he loves the fact that football is so good here. Takes the pressure off him. Snow with the pressure and the pick and the layup. Ooh. Eric Snow. Hey, how about the leaps on both of those guys? Huh? Eric Strickland coming down to try to make the block. And Snow with the high bank off the glass. A busy day in college basketball this afternoon. Look at some of the scores. Another turnover by Nebraska. And now Michigan State with a chance to tie it up on a two or go up with a three. Respert has checked back into the game. He has seven points for Michigan State. He's their top scorer. Defense, 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 defense. Nebraska still in its man. Around jumper by Bethea short, but Garavaglia hustling on the boards. It's a part of this game that Michigan State's going to have to dominate here on the road to win. The, the glass. You know, with the strength they have inside Garavaglia, with Fike when he's in the game, they have some beef inside, and that's what they're going to have to do. And that stops the break in Nebraska. Oh, now the turnover, and that's one thing that Judd Heathcote can't be very pleased with right now. It's a sixth turnover for Michigan State. And Mark, they've had some opportunities on the break where they've really turned the ball over, too. And that's a big component of their game. They can ill afford to turn the ball over in transition. Of course, you're going to do that your share of the times, but you want to keep that ratio as low as possible. Ten and a half minutes to play now in the first half. Still a two-point lead by Nebraska. In last year's game in East Lansing, Michigan, Nebraska won by a deuce. And yet another turnover. This game getting a little sloppy. That's Nebraska's seventh and credit, turnover. Credit Judd Heathcote with the defensive switch. He's got Damon Bethea now on the guards. Uh, on, um, on Boone right now. He's already hit a couple of three-pointers. Respert was on him. Bethea with a couple of more inches of height. He can take away the outside jump shot. Maybe cause that turnover. Polonowski with a screen for Snow, who's doubled. Somebody should 
be open. Restford fouled in his attempt and foray to the basket. Got hit in the face. And Restford now may be looking for a contact. He is so quick. And then you can shoot the three like he can. And he will be the all-time leader in the Big Ten in threes. You have to come out and take away the jump shot. Boom, he goes right in the quick first step all the way to the hole. Can't get it to go, but he draws the foul with that nice first step. He has such a very good stop and go move, too. When you watch him play, he's not what you would call lightning, lightning quick, but the change of speeds is exceptional, and, and that goes a lot longer for you. That goes a lot further for you. Well, and when you can shoot like he can, I mean, you, it makes you even quicker because you have to come out and honor the jump shot. Foul was on Jerron Boone, his second of the game. Respert, a very accurate foul shooter. Coming into this game, 12 of 14 for the line. That's a big foul on Boone, too. We'll see the next time down if Michigan State, whomever he's guarding, tries to go right to him. If you're Danny Needs, Harry, do you leave him in the ball game with two fouls with over 10 minutes to play in the first half? You have to know your players, and he's an intelligent player, but he is taking a chance right now. Now, some players can play with two fouls and stay out of the foul trouble, but we'll see the next time down on the possession. If they go right after him, I think you have to take him out. You look at the nice backdoor cut and the quick hands as Strickland went to the basket. One of the top steel men in the Big Ten Conference a year ago. Strickland throws it inside. Here's Tom Wald with his first jumper, and it's a good one. The transfer out of Mankato State, Michigan State throws it away. And another turnover for Michigan State, their seven. So now both teams committing seven infractions, turning the ball over. Now you look at Brooks coming back in the game. One of the things Danny Nee was concerned about was on the break, the big man running the lanes for Michigan State. Not necessarily the guards. He felt that his guards could stop that penetration. But right now, Michigan State getting out on the break, but they're turning the ball over. 16-14, Nebraska with a two-point lead. Nine and a half minutes to play in the first half. Walled with the ball. Nebraska in its three-guard offense. Wald being very aggressive. Gotta love his aggression, Terry. Well, you mentioned he's a transfer, and he wrote all Division I schools. Danny Lee wrote him back and said, come on, his folks moved to Lincoln. What a perfect fit he's been here. You know what? Sean Respert is just straight up cold-blooded. Hits another three-pointer. Boy, those eyes, too. He kind of looked over here and smiled after he hit the three. <laughs> Boone wants it back and got it. Deron Boone smiling. <laughs> Respert, the yo-yo dribble. No good rebound to Strickland. The guards taking this game over. And you've got Respert matched up with Tom Wall, and Snow is on Strickland. Strickland may be able to take Snow with the strength. Inside they go, and Badgett was fouled by Brooks. And Judd Heathcote is pleading with the All Big Ten officiating crew today that that last call should have been a travel against Nebraska. That foul against Quentin Brooks, his second of the ball game. Now you ask me about Jerron Boone and leaving him in the ball game right now if you're Danny Needed. The other thing you can do, and we'll see if he does it in the next couple of possessions, is go ahead and switch to his own defense to protect him a little bit. Right now he's one-on-one -on -one with either Snow or Rest, but both guys can draw that third foul. Wald is a perfect three for three from the field. And Wald has seven points. He has lit this crowd up in Lincoln. One of the great understock stories in all of college basketball. Respert. Rebound. Salim.
Judd Heath, though, calls for a 20-second timeout. But, boy, he took that strong to the steel, Terry. Well, you look at both ends. Some contact at the other end. I thought a good no call because Westbrook still had an opportunity to make the layup. Here come the Cornhuskers, and at this end, you can't question this man's heart. Gerard Boone going right up against Jamie Fike, who's 6'9", 240 pounds, and the crowd here loves it. He drew the foul and over the line. Did you see the look on Fike's face after he fouled Boone? He said, not in my neighborhood, no way. Uh, Judd Heathcote takes the 20-second timeout, which is in effect in the Big 8 this year. It's an experimental rule by the NCAA. They did the same thing when they first brought the three-point shot into play some 10, 11 years ago. So a number of conferences are using that. The Big 8 is, and Judd takes the 20 right now. I think what he's telling his team is, look, we've got to get on the glass, number one. They've given Nebraska a number of second shots, and with the size advantage, the Cornhuskers really shouldn't get those at one end of the floor, and at the other end, they can't turn the basketball over. They've got Jerron Boone in foul trouble with two fouls. I think he ought to go right at him. Give the ball to Eric Snow. That who he, that's who he's guarding. With his quickness, let him penetrate a little bit. Right now, they have a six-point lead. Jerron Boone at the line for Nebraska. He has ten points at this juncture. Boone, a junior out of South Lake City, Utah, was telling me before the game, Terry, that he had the opportunity to play with and against a lot of members of the Utah Jazz during the course of the summer. Guys like Brian Russell, uh, Johnny Stockton, and some of the best players on the squad. And that'll improve your game. After the foul shots, Nebraska with an eight-point lead. They lead 25 to 17. Maybe it's our rugged shift on the move four-wheel drive. Maybe it's our high-track independent suspension. Or maybe our powerful V6. Whatever the reason, 1993 was the 14th year in a row 4x4 buyers made Toyota the best-selling compact 4x4. Hey, maybe nobody wants to walk home from here. Toyota trucks, you just gotta love them. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, I need some shorts to play basketball. Indoor or outdoor? Uh, outdoor. Uh, full court or half court? Half, I guess. Uh, pick up or play. Shirts or skits? Excuse me? Uh, day or night, home or away, team or one-on-one? -on -one. Is activewear becoming too specialized for you? Try Discus Athletic. Heavyweight sweats and tees. The activewear that's right for however you play. Discus Athletic. The way America plays. Horse or pig? This holiday season, Radio Shack has a 486 AST Advantage computer on sale for the incredible price of $49 a month for 24 months with no interest. Hey, there's lots of good reasons to buy one for the family. Dolores could balance her checkbook with it. Little Jimmy can do his homework. I can put the money we save right into his college fund. Zero percent interest, 24 months, $49 a month only at Radio Shack. It's a house full of relatives for the holidays. So great to have babies in the house again. Yeah, there's nothing like a little projectile vomit to brighten up the holidays. Home Improvement, Tuesday on ABC. Back at the Devaney Center in Lincoln, Nebraska, Mark Jones along with Terry Gannon in the house. Nebraska in the midst of a 7 to nothing run. The last two points coming courtesy of Jerron Boone from the foul line. Boone has checked out of the game now. And in for him is Jason Block, a 6'5 junior guard. A little different defense for Nebraska. They come out of time out in a half-court trap. Snow in the middle. Brooks with the jump shot, no good. Another attempt, no good. Fike with the rebound. Fading away, can't get it to fall either. They come up with zero points on three attempts. Oh, it's amazing. Only two people have scored for Michigan State. This man, Eric Snow, and Sean Resker. And it, still only two people have scored, but they'll take the points anyway. He's got seven, and uh, right now, Resker has 12, and that's it for the Spartans. The ball off of Michigan State and off of their coach, Judd Heathcote, who wasn't watching. Coach, you always have to face the ball. You always have to see the ball. He always tells his players that. Here's Eric Snow. Nice little dip inside. Creates a little space between him and the defender. And he does that so well. Taking the ball to the rack. Number 35, Steve Polonowski. 
Kentucky checking into the game for Michigan State. Nebraska has won two of the last three meetings between these teams, but Michigan State leads the overall series eight to five. Michigan State still in its man-to-man -man defense. 6.45 remaining in the first half. Brooks has been silent so far and is still silent. Now you get the feeling for Nebraska that Boone, you know, he's a guy they rely on a lot anyway, but uh, in this game, they've got to get the bar basketball in his hands. And it's, I think it's the reason that Danny Nee has left him in the game right now, even though he has the two fouls. Feels like he has to get scoring out of him. Danny Nee took his team to the Big 8 tournament and won it last year. First time they've won it in Nebraska history. A little 3-2 zone now for Michigan State. Rock had an idea, passes it inside to Mikey Moore. The tall, slender one gets it to fall, and Michigan State turns it over again. Terry, it's one thing to run, but it's another thing to run under control. Oh, you're right. I don't think Judd is that upset with some of those turnovers on the break. You're going to turn the ball over if you run. But his big men have been able to catch the ball, and today they haven't done it. And Glock hits a three. Nebraska doing a lot of damage from the outside. An 11-point Husker lead. Polonowski fakes. Out of bounds to Michigan State. Garavaglia getting set to check back into the ball game for the Spartans. Well, tonight on ABC, Christy Alley hosts a wonderful two-hour look at 40 years of magical Disney television. The first color broadcast, the Mickey Mouse Club, and more with all your Disney favorites plus a special guest. Then it's a special night. Lois and Clark all tonight here on ABC. And back to the action, a whistle and a foul called against Nebraska. It's against Jason Clark, the man who just made that jump shot. Gotta love Danny Nee, the best ties in the business. <laughs> huh? Natalie attired coach for Nebraska. Look at those Brooklyn ties working here in Lincoln. Uh -huh. Caravaglia with the left hand, a soft left-handed shooter, gets it to fall. So finally somebody else scores for Michigan State. And Boone oh, cannot finger roll. Boy, take a chance with two fouls driving the lane if you're Boone. Boy, Snow with another uncontested layup. You cannot turn your back on him. Wald, a lot of contact, no whistle. Back comes Resper. An off-court foul called against Boone. Terry, that's number oh. three. I mean, what a foul to commit as well. You're a good 50 feet from the basket, and what are you trying to do? Steal a ball from Resper. Stop his penetration, but if you're Boone, you just can't commit that foul, Mark. No question now, you would think that Danny Nee has to take him out of the game. Well, Boone thinks he only has two fouls right now. We've had him with two, and, and that would be his third. And Boone thought he only had a deuce. Yeah, it's official. He does have three. So Jerron Boone sits on the bench and takes his 15.8 point a game average with him. Today, he's the high score for the Oscars with 12. Resper has an even dozen for Michigan State. Make that 13. So mark down this time in your head. Five minutes, 19 seconds left in the first half. And uh, before that free throw, when Boone committed the foul, was 30 to 23. We'll see what kind of run Michigan State can put on now. That's just a huge foul and a terrible decision by Boone. Sean Resper takes two. Resper, a member of the USA team at the Goodwill Games this past summer in St. Petersburg, Russia. And a chance to really work on his game and improve his game. He comes back as a candidate for the Wooden and Naismith Award this year. A turnover by the Huskers. And now Michigan State with a chance to cut the lead to three points. Weathers has checked into the game. Ray Weathers to Michigan State, a 6'3 sophomore guard who has the ball right now. Now, if I'm Michigan State, I make sure that Westbrook touches the basketball every time down. And he has done a lot of damage from the outside, and no one is going to stop. I'm not sure Walt can stop him. Brooks's jump shot, Terry, is off the mark. And here comes Nebraska. Inside to Melvin Brooks, and Brooks is finally on the score sheet. His first deuce of the game. He's a mystery player sometimes. No mystery about the range of Westbrook, but he misses. Boy, how about Westbrook's 
shot and Boone's from the other end. I mean, we're talking different cities. <laughs> yeah, it's the NBA line from last year that they're firing from. Somebody can tell them they can move in a little bit, take an extra dribble. Give it to Mikey. He likes everything. Mikey Moore. And a three-pointer good coming off the soft touch of Ray Weathers. Ray Weathers only a sophomore, sat out last season and uh, given Judd some good minutes this year so far. Long-distance shooting from both teams off the mark that time. And that will draw the ire of Judd Heathcote. Turnovers, the bane of every coach. It'll make you a hair club for men candidate. We'll be right back. With the Peach Master games from Pizza Hut, you can relive the fun of the Peach Master, the adventure, the fantasy, and get the large pizza, the Pepsi, red sticks, and more. The Peach Master meal deal for just $12.99. Be careful when you open it. I smoke, but at many fast food restaurants, it's not on the menu. So I've got an order of my own, Wrigley Spearmint Gum. It's got a cool, clean taste that everyone enjoys. So when I can't smoke, I enjoy pure chewing satisfaction. Judd Heathcote is making very, very strong reference to right now in the huddle. 
the big guys really haven't been able to get in the flow of the offense. No, and maybe not off a pass. You know, if you're Fike right now, I'm not sure you expect the ball to come to you, but you have to go to the glass and get it. Garavaglia and Fike offensively have not been able to get the ball off the glass and put it back, and that's where they do most of their scoring. Michigan State, Terry, has always been a guard-oriented team through the years with Judd Heathcote as the head coach. Think about the dominant big men they had. They haven't really had too many. You think of Kevin Willis, and that's about it. It's about the last big man who's been dominant. And it's tough to play in that way. I mean, you've got to have great guards if you don't have big men in the middle to play in the Big Ten. So, such a rugged lead, Mark. Brooks, Garavaglia, and Fike, a combined one for seven from the field for the Spartans. Michigan State now, Terry, in a zone defense. Now, second time they've run this out of the out-of-bounds. A little 3-2. It allows you to get out on shooters, and that's what Nebraska has. Strickland will try to get a shot off here. They'll be cheating and hedging to his side. Forces one up. But fortunately, they get the rebound back. Nice interior passing. Salih so can't finish. Boy, what a nice low to high, though. Real cut to the basket. Really attacked his own well. Respert from way out and misses. He's gone a little cold here. Wall might have gotten away with a walk. Rebound, Nebraska. Badger. And it's off of Nebraska to stay with the Spartans. Badger, the guy who is a returning starter from Omaha, Nebraska, and a key part of Danny Nee's program. Well, Saturday, January 14th, Pete Tut College Basketball returns to ABC as Virginia takes on Duke. And Terry and I will be doing the Arkansas-Auburn game, plus regional action. Check your local listings for the game in your area. Don't forget, January 14th, more Pete Tut College Basketball here on ABC. A great backcourt in that game as well. Roy Beck, Scotty Thurman when he does line up at guard. Garavaglia hits a three-pointer. And that'll keep Judd a little bit quiet, temporarily. <laughs> you think so, huh? <laughs> A wide open clock passes up a jump shot and has it blocked and goaltended. And Mark, that ball was not going to go in the basket. That was well short. And as an official, you have to make that distinction. Does it have a chance of going in? Take a look. The little lob pass, tough to see there, but I don't think there's any way that ball goes in the basket. Yeah, from our vantage point, it would have definitely fallen short. Moore checking into the game now. Salee sitting down. A, an 11-point lead with 1.15 to play now in the, the first half. Nebraska in its half-court trap, something they call their red defense. Tough to pressure the guards from Michigan State, though. And yeah, they'll just show that a little bit and maybe try to make it difficult for Michigan State to run their stuff. But you can't pressure Snow or Respert. Respert for three. He's gone stone cold. Last two shots have been short, and that's when the legs get a little bit tired. You may have to get a little more leg drive in your jump shot, Sean. Yeah, and don't forget, folks, coming up at halftime is the Ben Naismith Nominee of the Week. And we'll preview several of the leading candidates for this year's award. Lots of top-notch talent here in NCAA basketball, and we'll have a look. Under a minute to play, 40 seconds to play now in the first half. Walled with the ball, Nebraska with an 11-point bulge. This was an acid test of sorts for Danny Nee and his crew. They weren't sure how they would react this afternoon. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Block with the J. They got what they wanted. A little penetration by Wald. And then an open jump shot. Big, big possession here, Mark. Excuse me. If they can get a bucket and cut it to single digits going to a lot for Michigan State. They're going to spread the floor and let Respert go to work. They've got an isolation play for Respert. Gets his man in the air, a foul. But the jump shot is off the mark, but he will get two. Great ball fake that time by Respert. He really does, Terry, have the whole package. Well, what would you do if you had one possession you needed a bucket? Just give it to him and get out of the way. And he, he gets help here. Wald com comes over to give Strickland help with the great pump fake on the baseline. And uh, if you're Tom Wald, you're not going to block your shot anyway. Why not just stand there and put a, put a hand up? It's interesting that the Michigan State coaches were saying to us earlier they need to get him some more shots. And at some points, Sean Respert is almost too unselfish. Yeah, he came back after deciding to, to come back to school or he put an option for the NBA. And normally when you have a situation like that, you, you know, the player really wants to fire up the shots. He has not been like that. Respert hits both his foul shots. The desperation heave is far short. 
And the Nebraska Cornhuskers, with a record of 5-1, and one, lead by 9 at halftime. It's 42-33. to 33. Danny Nee likes what he sees after 20 minutes. We'll return to ABC Raycom College Basketball after this message and a word from our ABC stations. It is an experience above all else. It is Avalon. Toyota technology taken to a new level of excellence. A world of superior comfort, room, and refined driving performance. Avalon, the new flagship from Toyota. Built exclusively in America. Experience the tranquility. They were really growing up fast. Too fast. All Kelly talked about was going to high school, and all I could think about was paying for college. I'm sure I played around with a few mutual funds, but I was no expert. So I started talking to someone who could help, a broker at Dean Witter. We must plan for our client's future as if it were our own. Funny. Kids think their parents always have the right answers. I'm just making sure I do. We measure success one investor at a time. There you go. I'll get it. Since the introduction of Visa Rewards, everyone wants to use their Visa card. Because now 10% of all your purchases automatically goes towards savings on American Airlines, Flyaway Vacations, Carnival and Holland America Cruise Lines, and Marriott Hotels, Resorts and Suites. Look at yourselves! You're acting like a bunch of kids! Besides, I saw it first. Visa Rewards. Now your Visa card's even more rewarding. It's the greatest moments of Disney television. Check this out. Celebrate 40 years of the wonderful world of Disney with the first color broadcast, the Mickey Mouse Club, behind the scenes and much more. Disney's 40 years of television magic, Saturday where it all began on ABC. From Steven Spielberg. He's stealing seconds! Very violent sport, isn't it, baseball? Robin Williams is Peter Pan. Julia Roberts is Tinkerbell. And Dustin Hoffman is Hook. A network television premiere, Sunday at 8, 7 Central. You're not going to see the Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme here, here, or even here. That's because we wanted to bring you here, where we could show you our brand new interior. It comes with contoured bucket seats, the reassurance of dual airbags, an extended range sound system, plus much more. We invite you to try this on your street. It's your money. Hi, this is Paul Mulligan from Nebraska Golf Discount. Golf sure has come a long way. We at Nebraska Golf Discount have the leading technology, knowledge, and professional service to custom fit you with the top name brands at the guaranteed lowest prices. Professional service, complete selection, same day or next day club repair, guaranteed lowest prices. Nebraska Golf Discount has two Omaha locations, Old Mill and Harvey Oaks, Nebraska Golf Discount. Greg Peterson, weeknights on News Watch 7. Back at the Lincoln Torture Chamber, Nebraska leading Michigan State by a score of 42 to 33. Welcome again, everyone. I'm Mark Jones, along with Terry Gannon in the house. Terry, an interesting first half in the respect that Michigan State really never came out and got established offensively. I never thought they got the rhythm, Mark, offensively. And what really hurt Judd Heathcote early on is he loves to run. Well, he turned the basketball over running up and down the floor. Their big men really beat Nebraska's up the floor, but the guards had some ill-advised passes couldn't get any easy buckets, and I thought that hurt them. Made a run to get back in it, but it's been all Sean Westbrook. Yeah, turnovers have hurt both teams. But meanwhile, we said at the start of the broadcast, it was going to be the type of game where both teams are running up and down like a track meet. We've seen a lot of transition basketball. Nebraska, even when you run on them, they're not going to take the air out of the ball at all. They're going to come right back, and, and that's what we've seen so far. Danny Neat has to be pleased with everything in terms of Boone scoring early on, in terms of what he got from Strickland. Tom Wall came off the bench in a nice job. The only thing that he's displeased about right now is Jerron Spoon's third foul, and it was really not a good foul at all. It was a reach-in foul about 50 feet from the basket. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. And this one, a Nebraska running opportunity. They talked about filling the lanes being important. Well, and it started with a Michigan State miss. Not a real good shot at the other end, off-balance shot. They get it to the middle of the floor. A nice pass by Mikey Moore down low. Terrence Padgett scores the bucket, and that's exactly what Ter uh, Danny he wants to get done today. You, you come back the other way, though. How do you stop this 
Irish guy. I mean, that's about a 28-footer. He took a couple of other threes that are even further out than that. You can't stop him. You hope he just doesn't go off on you. This man, Tom Wall, came off the bench, and I thought really provided a lift for Nebraska in a couple of outside jump shots and some drives to the hoop as well. And here's a look at our January schedule of Pizza Hut College basketball on ABC. Arkansas and Auburn, it all starts January 14th. Virginia Duke, Tulane, Cincinnati, and Washington State against Cincinnati. Then the next week, more college basketball. Duke, Florida State, that's where Terry and I will be. Temple against UMass, Texas, Oklahoma, and Kentucky. Rick Pitino's crew taking on Vanderbilt. We will be back with more from the Devaney Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's 42 to 33, the Huskers lead. Now that the Page Master is here, people of all ages want to recreate the experience. You, sir, need adventure! Danger! Fantasy! Uh -oh. Horror! <laughs> Romance! Comedy! <laughs> and one more thing! Yes, now at Pizza Hut, get the Page Master Meal Deal, one of four Page Master games, plus a large two-topping pizza, two-liter Pepsi, breadsticks, and more, all for just $12.99. Wait! Didn't show me your library card. Auto Show Concept Cars. Dream Machines. Until now, this was the only way to get your hands on one. Celebration begins with the 106th Tournament of Roses Parade. And our college football triple header kicks off as Alabama meets Ohio State in the Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl. Then undefeated Penn State stakes its claim to the national title. They battle Pac-10 champ Oregon in the Rose Bowl. And that night it's a much-awaited rematch. After a bitterly fought tie, Florida State and Florida meet again in the USF&G Insurance Sugar Bowl. It's all January 2nd on ABC. Something new and exciting is coming up next for you on ABC Sports. Stars from all three of the major professional golf tours in match play competition at the Diners Club. Jack Nicklaus and Arnold Palmer, together as a team, have advanced to the semifinals of the Senior Tour. Action is next on ABC. Go! Back in Lincoln at halftime, Nebraska leads Michigan State 42 to 33. You know, all winter long on Pizza Hut College basketball, you'll see some of the game's biggest stars. Here's a preview of some of the best of the best this season. It's impressive. Here are some of the college basketball stars you'll see this winter. Arkansas's Corliss Williamson is one of the dominant big men in the game. Last season, he averaged 20 points in leading the Razorbacks to the national championship. Williamson is nearly unstoppable one-on-one. -on -one. Maryland's Joe Smith was the ACC Rookie of the Year in 94, leading the league in rebounding with nearly 11 boards per game. With his help this year, the Terrapins could contend in the conference race. Out West, Ed O'Bannon is the reason many experts are picking UCLA. An all Pac-10 selection last season, O'Bannon has Bruins fans thinking about a return to the glory days in Westwood. Florida 
State shooting star Bob Serra, the ACC scoring leader last season, has no fear. The 6'5 senior is an All-America candidate for the Seminoles. Duke is looking for a go-to guy. And if senior Cherokee Parks takes charge and becomes a force inside, he could be the next Blue Devil star. Oklahoma is big country, and Brian Reeves is back for his senior season at Oklahoma State, ready to lead the Cowboys to a possible Big 8 title and another tournament bid. At Arizona, senior Damon Stoudemire finally has the spotlight to himself. He'll need a big year for the Wildcats to make a return trip to the Final Four. Memphis's David Vaughn returned from a debilitating knee injury to lead the Tigers in scoring and rebounding. Now the junior leads a very young team that could surprise. And many experts think North Carolina 6'10 sophomore Rashid Wallace could be the best big man in the nation. After flashes of brilliance as a backup last season, he gets the chance to excel as a starter. Catch the stars all winter long. It's a who's who of college basketball, folks. At halftime, 42 to 33, Nebraska leads. We'll return with more of halftime ABC Raycom College Basketball after this message and a word from our ABC stations. In 1908, one of the favorites in the great New York to Paris race was a motor car built by Siemens. That was then. This is now. Today, Siemens builds over 700 automotive products, from fuel injectors and microprocessors to halogen headlights. Siemens, creating technologies to keep America and the world moving in the right direction. Siemens, precision thinking. What are you getting little Al for the holidays? He's growing by leaps and bounds. Remember his size this week? No? Better come into Radio Shack. We have hundreds of the gifts kids want most. And besides, with a gift from Radio Shack, there's no question. One size fits Al. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Hi, I'm Jim Palmer. At The Money Store, qualified homeowners can now refinance their mortgages with a rate as low as 5.25%. But this special adjustable rate program is only available till December 31st. Call The Money Store right now to refinance your home and get some additional cash, even if your credit is less than perfect. This special 5.25% program is only available till December 31st. So call The Money Store at 1-800-LOAN-YES. Saturday, a special day in time. Superman tries to save the world, but loses his memory instead. Can Clark remember who he is? You're Superman. That's crazy. Before it's too late. The sky literally is falling. Lois and Clark, Saturday at 10, 9 central. Barbara talks to the year's most fascinating people, including Jerry Jones of the Cowboys. The more you're willing to reach out, the more criticism you're going to get. With Oksana Bayul, Barbara Streisand, Tom Hanks, and more. It's an all-new Barbara Walter special, Tuesday on ABC. A special offer on Ford Taurus can only mean one thing. Car Drew, that your Ford dealer is determined to stay number one. With 2-9 financing or a lease rate of only $249 a month for 24 months. That's right, get any Taurus GL sedan or wagon with low 2-9 financing or a lease rate of only $249 a month for 24 months. And that includes standard fuel airbags, air conditioning, automatic transmission, and more. Your Ford dealer is determined to keep Taurus number one. And he's got the hard proof to back it up. Since 1982, the success of News Watch 7's Crime Stoppers program has been adding up. 1,200 felons have been arrested, 3,300 cases have been cleared, and over $2.5 million in stolen property recovered. But more impressive than the numbers recovered are the numbers put away. With your help, we're fighting back against crime. Crime Stoppers with Daniel Plant, Tuesdays at 6 and 10 on News Watch 7, the one to count on. What's the number one reason H.P. Smith Ford sells so many cars and trucks? Price. One price. Over 400 cars and trucks marked with one low price. H.P. Smith Ford. What's another reason? Selection. H.P. Smith Ford has the largest inventory of Explorers and Windstars ever. Plus, 12 new F-150 XLTs. Loaded, specially priced, 14 dollars 
990, 8P Smith Ford, 50th and L. The Storm Team, helping you get through the winter. Smith Awards, celebrating 27 years of recognizing the best players in college basketball. This year's nominees include Rashid Wallace of top-ranked North Carolina, Michigan State's Sean Resford, Wake Forest guard Randolph Childress, and Corliss Williamson of national champion Arkansas. The Ben Naismith Awards, celebrating 27 years. Getting ready for the start of the second half, Nebraska with a 42 to 33 advantage over Michigan State. And a look at the first half statistics, Terry. What exactly, if one thing jumps out at you? What is well, it? Michigan State did not shoot the ball well because they couldn't get their fast break working. They threw the ball away quite a bit. But look at the rebounds. Nebraska on the boards, 23 to 16. That's surprising because if anything, we thought Michigan State had the edge inside with their bulk, and really they should dominate the glass. It shouldn't be Nebraska. Maybe that's the biggest thing of the first half for Danny Neek. And a good portion of those 23 rebounds, offensive rebounds, second opportunities that have really hurt the Spartans. And now Danny Nee has got Jerron Boone back in the ballgame. He's got three fouls. If I'm Michigan State, maybe one area to look at right now. Try to attack him. The Nebraska starts now in a box in one. Eric Strickland guarding Sean Resford one-on-one. -on -one, number 21 on number 24. Try to keep the ball out of his hand. If you're Michigan State, Terry, how do you free up your high scorer, Resford, against this defense? It's awfully tough to free him up. Someone else has got to hit a jump shot or two to then get them out of that box in one. Badgett goes glass and gets it to fall. Badgett now with six points in the ball game. Garavaglia hit a three earlier, misses this one. And the problem is if you take those shots and don't hit them, Nebraska can just sit back in the box and one. Strickland throws up a wild jumper. And it'll come back for the Spartans. And there's a foul against Nebraska. The foul is on Badgett. That's his first of the game, the first team foul here in the second half against the Cornhuskers. Take a look at this possession now. We'll see if Nebraska stays in that box in one. A couple of things you can do against it. It is a gimmick defense, so you should get shots elsewhere. Somebody's going to have to step up and hit it. Or you can try to set screens. If Strickland does his job, though, the screen should not work because he'll have help everywhere on the court. Snow is the second offensive option, and Snow got an easy look but missed it. Out of bounds, Nebraska ball. Well, not much else you could do offensively. You got to drive to the hole, just didn't hit the deuce. And Judd has not taken a seat yet, I don't believe, in this game. <laughs> Judd Heathcote's crew goes 20 and 12 a year ago, losing in the first round of the NCAA tournament, just like Nebraska. An 11-point lead for the Cornhuskers. More to Boone. Boone pulls up, goes glass, and drops it. Boone now with 14 this afternoon. Nice pass inside to Fike, and one. Jamie Fike, the strong 6'9 junior out of Lexington, Ohio, gets mugged and thugged and got the layup to go in. But is he strong? Watch the ball go to Respert. The one problem with the boxing one, if you do allow Respert to get the basketball, other people can fall asleep, and that's what happened but with Melvin Brooks behind the zone. Watch, Melvin Brooks, the head was turned, and Fike just slid right behind him, and with his strength, they got the bucket, maybe one. And that's an aspect of Respert's game that few people know or even talk about. He's a very good passer. They cut the lead down to 10, just underway here in the second half. I'm Mark Jones along with Terry Gannon. Nebraska has led for a good portion of this game. Pretty much from start to where we are right now. Oscars with the ball underneath the basket. Strickland inbounding the ball. And there's that matchup again. Respert on Boone. Boone's been hot. And Respert with the steal. They've got a three on one. Weathers with the layup and the finish. And the lead is below double digits. Oh, Badgett missed the dunk. And it was partially blocked that time by Quentin Brooks. And Nee doesn't like the no call. Well, Danny Nee can't believe that there wasn't a foul call, first of all. And if you don't 
called a foul. He's saying you have to give it back to us because somebody touched the basketball or touched the arm of the shooter. Booze now raining down on the All Big Ten officiating crew. And they call for a double dribble on Weathers. Rebound fight. And now the lead is down to just six points. And the other problem with the boxing one mark is trying to rebound out of it. It's not a defense you play very often, so you're not used to your responsibilities on the glass. Always tough to rebound out of, out of a zone, and even tougher, like you say, out of that box and one. Yeah, especially out of a gimmick defense, which you don't practice every day in practice, and you only use and select periods of a game. The Spartans in the midst of a seven to nothing run. Strickland. Moore. No shot. Put a dent in the glass backboard that time. Not the shot that he wants. Put that three away. Westbrook circus shot. And a foul underneath. It's against Quinton Brooks. Boy, Westbrook was a little bit out of control. Went behind the back. Flicked up the scoop shot. Boy, if that went in, I'm out of here. Put it behind the back dribble, though. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Ed. First time we've seen him out of control. And Moore gets hit by Brooks, and we're going the other way. But I think the, the box in one is, is backfired a little bit on Danny Knee because Michigan State was able to get the, the easy bucket to Pike underneath, something they haven't gotten throughout the game. And a little bit of movement offensively, so he may get out of that the next time down. Interesting to see if he'll do that on the next possession for Michigan State. The Spartans have chopped into that Nebraska lead, which now stands at just six points. Boone, Salee, Badgett, Brooks, and Strickland for Nebraska. And now Snow is on Jerron Boone. Restford had him the last time down. Restford, good defense, good hands, comes up with a steal. John Respert, an all-around player, and that's why he's a candidate for the Naismith Award. And Danny Nee is going back to the man-to-man -man now. You can't stay in the box in one very long, and I don't think it helped him. Good idea, but he came out and changed things up. Michigan State moving offensively with him. Rest good shot, Mark. He's got to hit that. Yep. A two-on-one back the other way. Badgett and Strickland. It's all Badgett. Badgett, a returning starter out of Omaha, Nebraska, changed his number from 34 to 5 to signify his change in work ethic, and it paid off this year so far. And Husker fans are bringing the noise. Here comes a double screen, trying to get Respert the basketball. Here he is. Nice entry pass, rejection, and a foul. A foul on Melvin Brooks. Boy, I really like the way that fight goes up strong, Terry, when he gets the ball down low. And Mark, the best offensive possession on the half court for Michigan State, maybe the entire game. Watch what they're trying to do. They're trying to set a double screen for Sean Resper. He's going to set a screen first, and then they'll bring the ball back to him. All right, the ball is on this side of the floor. Now he goes to the other side. Watch the quick pass inside. Here comes the defense out, and he's got fight down low, so he caught on the high side. That's a nice possession for Judd Heathcote's team. Interesting that we didn't see Nebraska switch on the screens that time. Usually they like to switch on those screens. Fike makes the first of uh, two foul shots. But Michigan State comes up with the ball temporarily. Who wants it? Huskers are on the floor and come up with it. And Strickland turns it over. Somebody please, please wipe the grease off of that ball. Judd's team down by seven. As sure as the sun will rise across America, the families that travel will have one common need, to be safe. So it's no surprise that America's favorite full-size car has also been honored for safety. That's according to Prevention Magazine, which gave LeSabre the Safe Car Achievement Award in the full-size category. Buick LeSabre, the American family, family car. You get older, and your body starts to feel it. You get smarter, and you know the difference between pain relievers. That's why you get Bayer, the wonder drug, not Tylenol. Both relieve pain, but Bayer aspirin does something Tylenol can't. Only Bayer relieves the inflammation of arthritis when taken regularly. Just
just ask your doctor. You get older, you get smarter, you get bigger. Terry have not scored this half. They've really looked to go 
inside. But uh, you're right, at some point, we're going to let Westbrook go. Here's Boone for three. Weathers with the rebound and possession. Fight with a strong Bogart move to the basket. I don't see anybody stepping in to take a charge on that, that man. Fike is a big load at 250 pounds. Strickland gets picked, but it's a foul on Resper. Well, tomorrow night on ABC, brand new episodes of America's Funniest Home Videos and On Our Own, followed by a holiday movie event. Dustin Hoffman, Julia Roberts, Robin Williams star in the network premiere of Hook, starting at 8 o'clock, 7 central time, tomorrow night on ABC. And speaking of Hook, Weathers gets the hook, and Fike and Respert will join him, taking a seat on the Spartan bench. They trail with 13-14 remaining in the second half. They trail by six points. Strickland at the line, nicknamed the Bulldog by his teammates. You'll see that he has a tattoo on his shoulder. The tattoo is very much in vogue these days with college basketball players. We've got a few, don't you, Mark? <laughs> yeah. He visited the parlor the other day. It says mother. You can see it there on his left shoulder. You know, it's, it's very dangerous you, to have a fad like that because uh, once it goes out, the tattoo stays. You know, the earrings and everything else, that's one thing. You can always close that hole up. <laughs> and they could be taken off with a lot less pain. Baseline jump shot is good by Bethea. Lead at six, Strickland, really pressing the issue, kicks it out to Wall. Nice pass inside to Salee. Is it a foul? Tom Rucker outside calls the foul against Michigan State. And Salee, looking a little more aggressive here in the second half, will go to the line for two. And what he's been able to do, too, is not put the ball on the floor. He's gotten it a couple of times down low, and he hasn't needed the bounce. Goes right to the hoop. You have to like that. Jerron Boone now getting a rest. And so you have Wald in at the guard. You've got Block in at the other guard. And Eric Strickland, a three-guard offense once again, basically from Nebraska. It'll be Strickland. It'll be up to him then to take the load offensively. Strickland has eight points in the ballgame. Terry is Salim. This is the first of two. It may be a situation where Boone is cramping up just a little bit. You can see him being worked on by the medical staff at the Huskers. I'm not sure if they're working on the knee right now or maybe he does have the cramps. Usually if you have a cramp in your calf, they massage that calf. But looks to be okay on the sideline. They what, it looked uncomfortable, whatever it was. <laughs> the cure looks a lot more painful <laughs> than the injury. <laughs> Lee at the line for the second of two. Missing both. Brooks with the rebound. The Spartans now with a chance to cut the lead down to four. That would be as slow as they've cut it down to in a long time. Fike and Salee going at it inside. Fike's been real active in the second half. Yeah, he's had position. Brooks almost had the three-point play. Instead, he'll get two, but Fike has been active, Terry, inside, posting up. Take a look at the last possession. We saw Jerron Boone down on the floor, and maybe that's what happened. He got a knee to the thigh. Eric Snow defensively kind of stuck the knee out. You exactly. rub it a little bit, you stretch a little bit, and you come back in. in interesting that he's sitting down right now on the bench, Terry, because the worst thing that can happen when you get a Charlie horse is that that thing tightens up on you. You're, you're best to keep moving and keep it loose. Yeah, he's trying to keep it loose right now. He's got it moving while he's sitting there. I'm sure you'll see him come back in. Danny Need talking to him right now. Brooks misses both foul shots. Fike with the rebound. A lot of contact, no call. Fike over the top, and he's whistled for the foul. And Judd Heathcote is pleading with the officials for a call for his guys. And Boone trying to stay active on the sidelines. He's going to get a rest for a few minutes, but he's not going to sit down. Yet. Just what you mentioned, so that uh, the hamstring doesn't tighten up. Boone out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Had his mother come to the game last week against Creighton. They often make the trip to Lincoln to watch him play. A foul called underneath against Nebraska, so they give the ball away. By Terrence Padgett, just set a monster screen. And that's one of the things that a 
officials are looking at this year. They did it last year as well. There's one of the points of emphasis inside setting the screens and, and not moving. And he was certainly moving. Now, Badgett's got one of those bodies by Jake. When he sets a screen on you, it's like the Great Wall of China going up. Nebraska with three five players with three fouls. Boone, Brooks, and Badgett. Michigan State with two players with three fouls. Brooks and Fife. Brooks stripped inside. They picked his wallet, didn't even leave him change. Here's Strickland in the open court. And he's fouled by Respert. Respert has two. Well, the impressive thing from Eric Strickland at the defensive end is that he was guarding Sean Respert. Normally when you guard a big scorer like that, you're not really thinking help defense. Came off his man and got the strip at the other end and then drew the foul. All-around player and solid body, 6'3", 215 pounds. Strickland out of Bellevue, Nebraska. Averaging 17 and a half points a game, five rebounds. Has really made a commitment now, Terry, to start playing basketball exclusively. Although the people within the Florida Marlins organization say that the door will always be open to him if he wants to make the return back to baseball. But he was a lot more rested when they started practice in October, and it really showed. Now, he said he just got to the point where he was so worn out he couldn't give full attention to either sport. So he decided to take at least a year off, maybe two. He's only a junior here at Nebraska. Take a couple years off of baseball, always have that chance. That time, they make the entry pass, and Fike follows up his miss with a nice tip. You've got to credit not only Fike, but Judd Heathcote. Here in the second half, I'm sure he talked about it at halftime. Get the basketball to the big men. Let them become involved in the offense. What they're having problems doing is making that entry pass. Sean Resper, a Naismith candidate, trailing Danny Knee's team, 54-49. Stay with it. Concept cars. Stunning coupes built just for auto shows, not for real people. Now, Buick introduces a whole new concept. The all-new 1995 Riviera. The roomiest coupe in the world, with all the style and excitement of a concept car. Riviera by Buick. What a concept. Today, a woman needs a life insurance plan of her own. State Farm sells life insurance from an agent who's there for you today and there tomorrow, too. You see, we start you outright with a plan specifically designed for a woman's needs. One that protects the people who count on you for so very much. And a State Farm agent will be there tomorrow, too, as your life changes, to keep that plan working for the people you love. State Farm sells life insurance. With the Page Master games from Pizza Hut, you can relive the fun of the Page Master, the adventure, the fantasy, the horror, and get the large pizza, the Pepsi, breadsticks, and more. The Page Master meal deal for just $12.99. Be careful when you open it. I smoke, but at many sporting events, it doesn't play. No problem. I just chew Wrigley Spearmint Gum with such a cool, clean taste. It's something everyone can agree on. So when I can't smoke, I share some pure chewing satisfaction. It may be December, but the action is hot. The Chiefs and the Dolphins give it all they got. Nebraska leads by five, and this man right now, Jamie Fike. One of the reasons Michigan State has gotten back in this ball game. Watch the position down low. So Lee gets caught fronting him. The help is not there. When it does come, it's little Tom Wald. And Fike with ten points in the second half. He has been the man they've gone to, uh, Mark, to cut this lead from nine to five. When you're a big man and you make yourself big in the low post, it really helps your team out. Strickland from Omaha. Rebound controlled by the Spartans. Might have been from Chicago. <laughs> wow. And look at the discrepancy in scoring on the part of Snow and Respert in the second half. They have yet to put it through the hole in the second half. But Snow is still hustling on defense. And still pushing it. Nice pass. Fike got away with a walk. Possession, Michigan State. Another missed attempt. Another easy miss by the Spartans. Arkansas.
Arkansas and what they're doing today. We've got Arkansas against Auburn, second week of January. And January 14th, going to be a nice contest. Here's the box in one now again, Mark, for Nebraska. Now, it hurt them last time. Well, I think what it did, it allowed the big men from Michigan State to get involved in the game. They had to go to the big men and not rely on Westbrook. Kalinowski from downtown Bay. And that's the risk you run in the box in one defense. A two-point lead for Nebraska. Steve Kalinowski from Rockford, Michigan, narrows it to just two. Boone. Kalinowski couldn't squeeze, and Strickland out hustles him. Now, Boone hit the jump shot early in the second half, but he's been quiet, too. So Lee on the baseline. Little zone from the Spartans now. Strickland loses it, and Michigan State can tie it with the two or take the lead with the three on this possession. Nebraska has gone to its box and one for just one Spartan possession, and it resulted in a Steve Polinowski three-point shot. Weathers checking into the game for Michigan State. And it looks like Nebraska is going to go back to the box in one. I mean, credit Danny Nee's defense. They've taken Westbrook out of this second half along with Snow. But Michigan State, the inside people have been very good in the second half, and that's how they've gotten back into this game. In particular, a fight. Yep. Now they go back to the man-to-man. -man. Michigan State running out of its 1-4 set. A staple of Judd Heathcote for the 19 years. He's been in East Lansing. Garibaldia got it to fall. Folks, we're tied. It's the third time this afternoon the game has been knotted. Nine and a half minutes to play. It's 54 apiece. Spartans stay in their zone. A little two or a three-two zone allows them to get out on shooters. This is where Boone's got to step up into the seam. Here he is. Boone for three. Huh. Polonowski had a hand in his face, and Polonowski runs the floor. Nice catch. And he has it blocked underneath by Boone. Possession Huskers. You gotta like the way that Polonowski got out and ran the break that time. Oh, Michigan State's big people really run the floor well in the first half. They were beating Nebraska up the floor, but they couldn't handle the pass. And just a nice defensive play from Boone. Now, against the zone, Boone with the leg injury. Remember, he got kneed in the thigh. The last two shots have been short. He's got to make sure he gets it to the basket. Oh, good point. Very good point. That time, Garavaglia whistled for the foul. That is his third foul. What do you think? You think Judd's happy with his performance today? Think it'll uh, get him, or at least get one foot out of the dog? I like the spin move at the <laughs> other end the last time down. Maybe it buys him at least a possession or two <laughs> before he comes to the sideline, and here's it. You know, Caravaglia, a former Mr. Basketball in the state of Michigan, and a player that Judd really likes. He just uh, thinks he needs to get more consistency out of him. Strickland makes the first of two. And an interesting little footnote, when you look at the Nebraska coaching staff, their assistants wear that headset to communicate with other people up in the stands. And Gary Bargan, who took over in a game earlier this year when Danny Nee was thrown out against Northeast Louisiana, had to take the headset off then and go to the head coaching duties. But you don't see many teams using the headset on the side. Maybe the influence of football out here. <laughs> Strickland sits down to take a short breather, no doubt. Nebraska with a two-point lead, 9-0-1 remaining in the second half. Michigan State has been the better of the two teams in the second half. And the sellout crowd of over 14,000 letting their voice be heard. Brooks on the drive, and he's fouled. Quinton Brooks squared up, made a good rocker step move, and took it to the hoop. This is the player that really has been an enigma today. He scored 25 last year against Nebraska. Quinn Brooks has not scored. And right now, with Fike out of the ball game, the leading scorer in the second half, and with Sean Respert, your outside punch, out of the game, this man has to take up the slack. He's a prolific scorer when he wants to be. In fact, yesterday in practice, after Judd had finished kind of working the guys over, <laughs> Brooks converted on a nice alley-oop. Judd kind of looked up and said, guys, I, I think maybe we should end on that, huh? Let's call it. Yeah, that was silence because it was an awesome, it was a one-handed uh, slam off of the alley-oop. And Judd said, that's enough. We can't get any better than that. <laughs> Brooks has four fouls, makes both foul shots. And the game is tied at 
56 apiece. In all fairness to Judd Heath, though, you know, he does really get on his team, but he's very fair, and his players all like him. They understand the type of criticism that he delivers. Well, I think it's worked. 19 years, three Big Ten titles, national championship with Magic in 79. No one's going to question his, uh, his process. And he has a terrific sense of humor that his players all know about. Mikey Moore travels, and now Michigan State with an opportunity to take the lead on this possession. Nebraska has turned it over 16 times, much to the dismay of Danny Nee. Especially against the zone defense. It really hasn't been against pressure from Michigan State. Out of the 1-4. Nice backdoor cut. But the pass doesn't make it there. A tough pass to handle. The bounce pass on the break. Block all day to hit the three. Rebound Snow. Wow, what a rebound. Here he comes. Respert. Shot looking at flat, but a nice tip by Brooks. Michigan State with its first lead of the ball game. 58 to 56. And Nebraska has not figured out the 3-2 zone. That's really worked. With Polonowski at the top, the size, able to take away that shot of Boone. Now, what do you do if you're Nebraska? Do you cut him through and make him go to a wing? Absolutely. You make sure he finds a seam elsewhere without the size at the top. Moore is blocked. Came over the top, got possession, and then lost it. Respert. Loses possession back the other way. Maybe forced it just a tad too much. But nonetheless, Judd Heathcote's team with a two-point lead will return to ABC Raycom College Basketball after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Greg Lambert isn't too worried about how to invest for Zach's college education. That's because he works with a broker from Dean Witter. Together, they developed a long-term investment plan to help take Zach wherever he wants to go. Clients feel most comfortable with our ability to see things from their perspective. Now, when Craig looks into his son's eyes, he can see the future and smile. Dean Witter. We measure success one investor at a time. This is ABC. Hi, this is Paul Mulligan from Nebraska Golf Discount. Golf sure has come a long way. We at Nebraska Golf Discount have the leading technology, knowledge, and professional service to custom fit you with the top name brands at the guaranteed lowest prices. Professional service, complete selection, same day or next day club repair, guaranteed lowest prices. Nebraska Golf Discount has two Omaha locations, Old Mill and Harvey Oaks, Nebraska Golf Discount. A special offer on Ford Taurus can only mean one thing. Hard true that your Ford dealer is determined to stay number one with 2-9 financing or a lease rate of only $249 a month for 24 months. That's right. Get any Taurus GL sedan or wagon with low 2-9 financing or a lease rate of only $249 a month for 24 months. And that includes standard fuel airbags, air conditioning, automatic transmission, and more. Your Ford dealer is determined to keep Taurus number one, and he's got the hard proof to back it up. Jay Cardozi, helping you get through the winter. 58-56, his teammates call him Q, Terry, but call him alert on that last putback. They called him silent until this last bucket here. Watch the shot from Respert. Grims in and out. He has yet to score in the second half, but Quentin Brooks with a nice tip in. Michigan State's inside people, the reason that they have come back to lead now by two, and the 3-2 zone at the other end. And as you astutely pointed out earlier, Polonowski at the top really puts the clamps on the shooter, Strickland and Boone. A 6'9", he takes away that shot at the top of the key. So good move by Judd Heathcote and his coaching staff. Salee comes over the top and commits a foul coming over the back of Brooks. Had an easy four-footer, but kind of pulled the string on the shot. Yeah, wasn't real strong going up that time. And it, a 3-2 zone, as Michigan State is playing it right now, it's the one zone that really allows you to cover the perimeter. You know, it's, you're always susceptible to the outside jump shot when you sit back in the zone. The holes are in the middle, though, Mark, and Nebraska has not been able to take advantage of that going inside the Salih or any other of their big men. Second. Brooks at the foul line. Comes into the game just shooting three of six. And he misses the front end of the bonus. 
Under seven minutes to play, a two-point lead. Walls from the baseline, got it. And Nebraska now ties the game at 58 apiece. And that's where the shot is going to have to come from. Snow looking for the rub off out of that box set. Polonowski inside, strong. Boy, Fike is a man inside. He is 110% man. Guys are just bouncing off of him. Uh, he's 6'9", 240 pounds, and he is one guy who looks bigger than he actually is. Uh, he is just too strong for Salih on the weak side glass. And then the foul comes from Badgett just trying to stop him from going up. You're not going to be able to strip him in the basketball. For Badgett, what is that, his fourth? Four fouls now on Terrence Badgett. Mike a little bit strong. He's a good foul shooter. Well, Salee has a seat on the bench, and Nebraska goes to their small lineup. So you'll see them try to push the ball up much more than they have and get some opportunities without having to face the half-court zone defense. Terry, Michigan State, just 11 of 18 from the strike. Boone still trying to get off here in the second half. He's only scored two points in the second half. Strickland takes it. Oh, baby! And he snuffs it at the other end. But a foul. Oh, man. Melvin Brooks got on up for the downstroke. Did he ever? Wake up, crowd. <laughs> Wake up, bench. Wake up, everyone. Watch the miss by Strickland. He's not even in your picture. Finally, here comes Brooks. Then he hustles down to stop the fast break of Eric Snow. And they call the foul, but the fact is, they stop the easy layup, and the crowd is still on its feet. Momentum in the favor of Nebraska right now. It's the type of play that can turn a game in your favor. Oh, they called the foul on Badgett. Yeah, I'm not so sure that the officials called that correctly. Because it looked like Brooks was the one that made the block. I think that's what Terrence is saying on the sideline right now. He's kind of shaking his head. He wasn't the defender. Snow misses the foul shot. Badgett is still shaking his head on the bench trying to figure this one out. He can't believe that that infraction was called on him. Snow makes one of two. And it's a one-point lead for the Cornhuskers. Nebraska pushing it up quickly. Michigan State back in a man now, Terry. Yeah, a little smaller lineup in for Nebraska. So the Michigan State goes to the man to man. And that surprises me a little bit right now. Strickland baseline. Melvin Brooks. He's a senior and he's stepping up. Restberg got the layup. Oh, they let him out of jail because Snow was up in the air with nowhere to go. Boone has it stripped and it's out of bounds. It'll stay with Nebraska. We'll go back and look at the break and the foul. We'll see. Take a look. Is it number 34 or number 5? Oh, you know, they called it correctly. You're absolutely right. Good luck, guys, in the truck. Because Badgett came in and got the strip foul early and then the block by Brooks. And a good call by Tom Ruffin. He was in position and made the correct call. 62-61, Nebraska leading with 5.20 remaining in the game. Boom. Trying to come alive. Restberg trying to answer, and he puts a silencer on 14,000 people. Two pretty good guards we're looking at right now, Deron Boone and Sean Restberg. And back to the man-to-man -man from Michigan State with snow on Boone. Strickland wants some. Oh! You got to be kidding me. Are we seeing some plays here today, Mark, or what? Oh! Timeout. A 20-second timeout called against Michigan State. And Kevin Strickland, a.k.a. the Bulldog, was the high hopping dog right here. Look at Eric Strickland go baseline. No help for Respert. He gets beat. And no green shirt comes over to help. And that's an awful lot of fun when you get one of those. Hey, he was in the air so long, he should have been watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm really surprised at 
right now that Judd Heathcote went back to the man-to-man, -man, especially with a smaller lineup in for Nebraska. And that's, I think, hurt him in the last two possessions. It's allowed the quickness of Eric Strickland to hurt them. Boone got a shot from the outside one time against the zone. And also, they've gotten a couple of second chances. So we'll see if they stay in the man or go back to the 3-2, which was really effective. Sticks and more, all for just $12.99. Wait! Didn't show me your library card. You ready? Yep. <laughs> What's this? We're playing on clay. Right back. <laughs> it's mixed doubles. Uh. Outdoor court. Is active wear becoming too specialized for you? Try discus athletic. Heavyweight sweats and tees. Just change your clothes once to Discus Athletic, the way America plays. Sure, Gold MasterCard has a leap to $5,000 credit line, so you can buy all kinds of things, but you can't buy time. Well, I don't know. You could buy plane tickets and fly across five time zones, and it'll be even earlier than when you left. You can even go to Switzerland, and that's a great place to buy time. But wherever you go, you won't have to waste your time looking for a great exchange rate, because with MasterCard, a great exchange rate is exactly what you'll get. So I guess Gold MasterCard really can buy you time. Just remember to set your watch back. Watch back. Now, how's that for a useful card? Gold MasterCard. It's more than a gold card. It's smart money. If you thought these were legendary twosomes, wait till you see the pros get together. The biggest names in golf pair up for the Diners Club matches next on ABC Sports. Well, folks, here's today's Pizza Hut delivery of the game. You know, Melvin Brooks said he lost 22 pounds over the summer. Well, it helped him get on up for the downstroke on that one. Brooks clutching it home, and Nebraska now holds a two-point lead. 68 to 66. And no question that was the biggest play of the second half because that started the rally, the run for Nebraska. Snow with the ball being covered by Wall. Let's check out this Nebraska defense. Straight man-to-man, -man, 
Strickland on Westbrook. Here he is. Westbrook with the ball fake. Oh. Smooth I mean, uh, as butter. That's you talking green. about body control, Mark, and it just staying squared up to the basket. He's got it all. The game is knotted at 68 apiece. Approaching three minutes to play. Here's Wall. Polonowski still on Boone. You would think they can exploit that matchup. You would think they could get it to Boone and he could go by him. Strickland, nice beat inside to Boone. A great look by Strickland. And Danny Knee nodding his head in approval. Well, Judd Heathcote likes to run plays. He's got set plays. See if he goes to his All-American candidate, Sean Resper. They get the screen for Brooks on the wing, who pops. Wow. And he hasn't done that the entire game, and now a big shot from Brooks. A silky smooth touch by Q. It's tied at 70, two and a half to play. Danny Nee calling out a half-court set from the bench. Boone with the ball. You would think they would try and get him something. Weave out top, Strickland taking snow. A foul underneath, who's it on? It's against the Spartans, Terry. And they got Brooks going to the rack, and Eric Strickland causing a lot of trouble for Michigan State defensively right now. Since they've gone to the man-to-man, -man, he's been able to, to drive to the basket, even beating Eric Snow, and either getting the dish or getting the deuce himself. Brooks goes to the foul line to shoot. Official Tom Rucker says he'll get two. And he misses the first down. Elvin Brooks out of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, says that he's in the best shape of his career. With the Chuan Junior College, outstanding junior college, produced a lot of players. Nate McMillan, who went to NC State, now played the NBA. And Strickland, Terry, comes up with a heads-up play, stealing the rebound from Snow. Those things are so costly late in the game if you're Michigan State. Boom! Missing the finger roll. Who's got it? Who else? <laughs> the All-American candidate. It's Westbrook time. This is the time of the game when Sean Westbrook usually shines. He is a picture of poise under pressure. They'll try to get it back to him here. Off the double screen, there he is. And he pops it off the baseline, bingo! It's Sean time, it's Westbrook time, it's prime time. I'm cute. Now Danny Nee electing just to go ahead and go with the offensive. Possession, no timeout here, minute 29 counting. Still got a full load of timeouts plus a 20 left. A three-point lead for Michigan State, Westbrook with 26 points. Inside, Brooks misses. A mushroom cloud forming over the key, but no whistles, Terry. There's a lot of contact underneath. This has been a big eight, big ten battle. A lot of bodies flying around, and now Michigan State with the timeout. And a timeout as Judd Heathcote draws on those 19 years of coaching experience. We'll be right back. As sure as the sun will rise across America, the families that travel will have one common need, to be safe. So it's no surprise that America's favorite full-size car has also been honored for safety. That's according to Prevention Magazine, which gave LeSabre the Safe Car Achievement Award in the full-size category. Buick LeSabre. The American family. Family car. Gillette introduces the next revolution in shaving closeness. Microfins. And they're only on the new Sensor XL. These microfins precede the blades. As Sensor XL's spring-mounted blades adjust to your face, these soft, flexible fins gently stretch your skin so your beard stands up for the closest, most comfortable shave. Get closer than ever before. Get the new Gillette Sensor XL. Tired of putting yourself in an awkward position every time you sand? Then try the new heavy-duty Detail Sander 2000 from RYOBI. Its unique arrowhead design gets into and under tight spots quickly and easily, eliminating those tedious and painful tasks like finger sanding. The new two-speed Detail Sander 2000 and the original Detail Sander from RYOBI. Two sanders designed to get into tight spots, so you don't have to. Michigan State up by 
23. They have the basketball. This is what they did the last time down. Obviously, Sean Resford wants to get it back. Strickland trying to deny him. He gets caught, goes high side. You cannot allow him to have that much space because if he gets just an eyelash, he's going to bury the jumper. You've got to stay with him and either trail or fight through the screen, Mark. So tough. Do you, do you trail and go on the low side? Do you go high side? I mean, first of all, you got to get help. I mean, that's the main thing with Resford because he gets the ball off so quickly, but you cannot go fourth man. You saw the timeout situation right now. Michigan State with Resford going to the hoop. Resford with the reverse in the left hand. No time to wait. Sean Resford inbounds the ball. Everyone turned their head, and he burned them for two. Nebraska just fell asleep. And a near steal that time by Snow. Three-pointer, no good. Brooks with the rebound. And a foul called on flight. Michigan State leads by five with just under 50 seconds to play. And Sean Westbrook with a heads-up play here, Sarah. Right in front of us, and he saw that no one was guarding him. And the, the guy who is most susceptible to getting a shot off, or uh, the guy who is probably most often open, is the inbounds passer. Nobody guarded him. Nebraska fell asleep, and he goes right to the hole. A heads-up play. Now everybody turned their head as soon as he inbound the ball, and Westbrook snuck right in for the deuce. Now Brooks hits the foul shot. If you're Nebraska, Mark, you, know, you saw Boone shoot the three, and it was a pretty good shot, but you didn't need the three there. You don't have to panic. It's a two-possession game, and now it's a three-point game. And so you play good, solid defense here. We'll see what Danny Nee wants to do. You don't have to follow them. Nebraska calls a timeout. They now have only two remaining, as does Michigan State. Danny Nee, what you going to do? We'll find out when we come back. As soon as a State Farm customer calls with a claim, I'm right on the phone to our claim center. We work as partners. Nancy gives me the information, then I contact our customer. We've settled hundreds of claims together. John's attitude is... You've got to be quick, and you've got to be fair. Quick and fair. At State Farm, teamwork is what it's all about. We make a great team. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Gillette introduces the next revolution in shaving closeness. Microfins. And they're only on the new Sensor XL. These microfins precede the blades. As Sensor XL's spring-mounted blades adjust to your face, these soft, flexible fins gently stretch your skin so your beard stands up for the closest, most comfortable shave. Get closer than ever before. Get the new Gillette Sensor XL. trailing by three after taking that timeout. Michigan State and Judd Heathcote's team not shooting well from the line, Terry. So what do you do if you're Nebraska? Do you foul or do you go even up here on this possession? I mentioned earlier, you don't have to foul here. You can play solid defense. It's a three-point game, but I think they will because Michigan State is only at five of 12 in the second half, one of their last five. Don't foul this man, no. <laughs> and just as the words roll off your tongue, <laughs> they foul Sean Resper. You know, the, the absolute worst thing that could have happened for Nebraska, first of all, you don't want him to get the ball. You try to deny him the basketball. You've got a point guard in Eric Snow who only shoots 50% from the line. And it's no accident that Judd Heathcote and Tom Izzo get the ball to Sean Resper, who is a deadly foul shooter. He is 6 of 6 from the line today. 86% on the year. And you know what? Throw out the numbers. I don't even care what he shoots from the line. In the last minute of the game, with this man at the line, he's going to make it. He has made the big plays. He did the jump shot from the corner. He got the layup on the reverse off the inbounds play, and now he sinks two. You still do not need a three. You can go ahead and try for one, but it's a two-possession game, five-point game. Here's the three from Strickland. Off the mark. A scramble in the paint. Polonowski wrestling Brooks for the ball. The possession arrow in favor of Nebraska. The Cornhuskers will get possession of the ball. Yeah, I'm not so sure the best play isn't to go right inside because Michigan State doesn't want to foul. If you get the quick deuce, then you can foul again and foul someone other than Rushford and still have a chance here. Don't forget, coming up next, the Diners Club golfing matches. Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer. Just a couple of the greats that you'll see. That's next on ABC. Boone, oh, it's down and in and dumped in by Moore. 
<laughs> Boone was calling for the foul and didn't get it. But Moore was right there. Don't go away. It's a three-point game with 29 seconds to play. Now that the Page Master is here, people of all ages want to recreate the experience. You, sir, need adventure! Danger! Fantasy! Uh oh Horror! <laughs> Romance! Comedy! <laughs> and one more thing! Yes, now at Pizza Hut, get the Page Master Meal Deal, one of four Page Master games, plus a large two-topping pizza, two-liter Pepsi breadsticks, and more, all for just $12.99. Wait! Didn't show me your library card. They were really growing up fast. Too fast. All Kelly talked about was going to high school, and all I could think about was paying for college. I'm sure I played around with a few mutual funds, but I was no expert. So I started talking to someone who could help, a broker at Dean Witter. We must plan for our client's future as if it were our own. Funny. Kids think their parents always have the right answers. I'm just making sure I do. We measure success one investor at a time. Michigan State leading by three with possession after the Cornhusker basket. And another look at that last hoop by the Cornhuskers. Well, when you're at home, you're supposed to get this roll. Uh, how does that happen at home? It rolls out, and then the tip in, and the deuce, the quick two by Mikey Moore. And it's a good play. I, you know, I think that's a good play anyway to get the deuce. And now you foul somebody other than Resper. Don't let him have the ball. Go ahead and foul Brooks. Snow, not a great foul shooter, but they get the ball alertly to Resper. Fike. Polonowski loses it, and it's out of bounds. Michigan State retains possession. Oh, you talk about an opportunity that goes by the wayside for Nebraska. Mark, that was one. Hey, I, I'm not sure why they're going to score anyway. Indecision because they had a three-on-two eventually, but bring it back out. You don't need points right now. The clock is in your favor. That's your best friend, the clock. You could almost see Judd Heathcote get some more gray hair after Kalinowski lost it here, Terry. You know what? That's Resford's fault, too. As a guard, he needs to bring it out. Once it goes down low, the big men are going to just walk into autopilot. I mean, the only thing they're going to do with the ball is go up and score. resford has got to bring that ball back out. You talk about a room service turnover. Kalinowski almost put it right in the arms of Moore. But possession will stay with Michigan State. You know, Judd Heathcote right now trying to figure out a play to get the ball inbounds to Sean Resper. Now, maybe Eric Snow takes the ball out of bounds because he's such a good passer. They don't want him to touch and get fouled. And Snow alertly got the ball to Resper to break the pressure. And Resper took it up floor. They had three on one, but you saw what almost happened. They almost lost the ball. Danny Nee said that this would be a great test for his Nebraska team, and it has been exactly that, an acid test. They trail by three with 20.5 seconds to play. Now you look at this year, too, in the Big 8, Kansas, the prohibitive favorite in that league, and Danny Nee's team picked fourth. That's where they picked them the last couple of years. That's where he finished last year, actually, before winning the Big 8 tournament. But uh, at uh, the media day, not many people talking about Danny Nee's team. They're going to be pretty good. Don't forget, folks, coming up next, Diners Club Golf, Nicholas Palmer, Jim Dent, and Chi-Chi. All here next on ABC Sports. Back to the hardwood, 20.5 seconds to play. And Snow is taking the ball out of bounds. And this is the man they want, it. yeah. Being double teamed and fouled by Tom Wall. Resford has not missed from the strike today. He is 8 of 8. Michigan State leading by 3. Danny Nee exhorting the crowd to create a distraction. with his first miss from the line today. Now, what are the odds against him missing two in a row? Nebraska with three three-point shooters on the floor. Boone, Strickland, and Wall. They can all shoot the three, but they need the opportunity, and Restbert tries to deny them making the second one. Now it's a four-point lead. Three does you no good, Mark. You've got to go to the hole. They don't want to foul, and then foul when you get it back. Boone hits the three. It's a one-point game. And a 20-second timeout called by the Cornhuskers. Give me the ball, says Boone. You talk about a 
clutch shot. Best elevation he's gotten on a shot in the second half. Watch him get into this jump shot and the rhythm of Jerron Boone. Never a question in his mind that he was going to take that shot, and it was all net. You know, I talked about getting a two. Obviously, if Boone gets an easy three like he just did, go ahead and take it. But now they're in a position. They only took about six seconds off the clock on that possession. They can foul right away again. And no matter if Michigan State hits two or not, they can come down and tie it. Okay, Snow has the ball. He will inbound it for Michigan State. In both prior similar situations, Respert has been able to get his hands on the inbound pass. He's going to get it again because they're not even fronting. There he is. And there's a man fight wide open down court, but Respert keeps it himself and gets fouled. Respert, one of two from the line last time. He'll get two here. And even if he does make both, Terry, they have an opportunity, Nebraska does, to come back the other way with the three-pointer. Now, Danny Need talking to his club right now, first of all, mentioning that defensively, they didn't even try to deny Respert the basketball. But you look ahead now, and you're right. You got three three-point shooters, so no matter what happens, they'll come up and either call a timeout, run a play, or just go to the hoop. I can't figure out why Wald wasn't fronting Respert. Great butter. Make that 33 points for Sean Respert. And a three-point lead for the Michigan State Spartans at 2-0, trying to remain undefeated. Now it's time to talk defense for Judd Heathcote and his crew. Now, Michigan State called the timeout. He wants to make sure that his kids know time and score. Coaches always talk about that, Mark, and you, you think that players know it, but you have to remind them what the situation is and what you're trying to get done right now. Now, actually what he could do, I mean, there's two philosophies here. He's up three. Do you go ahead and foul as the ball is coming up? You send Nebraska to the line, they're in the bonus, and if they make the deuce, you're still up one. Some coaches, and, and you see it happen so often, they just can't pull the trigger on that because they're afraid about stopping that clock. You know, the, the old school, you never stop the clock when you're up. Yep. Three points, and will they foul? Don't forget, folks, coming up next on ABC, Diners Club Golf. Jack Nicholas and Arnold Palmer squaring off against Jim Dent and Chi Chi Rodriguez. That's next, right here on ABC. Coming up next uh, for Michigan State, it's a game against Cleveland State on Monday. As they try to remain undefeated. It has been an incredibly emotional year, even this early, for Judd Heathcote and his team. He was limping around yesterday in practice. He's got the bad knee, the bad hip. He keeps telling his team, hey, win one for the Gimper. <laughs> well, they're trying to right now, and we'll see if Judd wants to go ahead and foul. Walled with the ball. He can shoot the three. A foul called. It's against Boom. No, no, no. He oh, called the timeout. Time it appeared to be a foul call, but it's a timeout on Boone. This is something they worked on yesterday. Well, they allow Wall, Michigan State does, though, to come up the floor. There's Boone. Yeah, I'm not sure whether he was calling the timeout. Yeah, I guess he was. He shook his head, yes. And a good call by the official because he motioned for the timeout. But Wald had the ball at the top of the key. And Michigan State went after the ball and I thought actually fouled him while he was shooting a three. It was a clear decision to foul Wald. But they were too late. I mean, that's the one thing you can't do. You can't wait till he goes up in the air. And of course, if he's fouled while attempting a three-pointer, that's three foul shots. Oh. Don't forget, folks, Saturday the 14th of January, more Pizza Hut College basketball. Virginia Duke, Arkansas, Auburn, UCLA, Washington State, or Tulane against Cincinnati, who suffered an upset at the hands of Canisius last night. Darren Boone thinking about this last possession. 5.4 seconds to play. Now, what do you do, Terry? Do you run him off the screen? Do you go to Strickland? Boone hit his last three-point attempt. Or do you go to Wall? Well, I think you've got three different options off of that. I think you just named him. Right? First of all, this is the play that obviously teams practice from the first week prior to the season start. So they know what they want to do off of it. They'll try.
try to run. I think they'll maybe try to set a screen with Boone and hope that his man loses him and, and run him off of wall at the top right here. This is a play they practiced late yesterday in practice. We'll see if it paid off. Strickland. Boone has a shot to tie. And he's fouled. He's fouled by Snow. Wall fouled by Snow. If you're on the sideline right now, if you're Judd Heathcote, you're just shaking your head saying, how in the world can my guys commit a foul on this? Tom Wald has a chance to tie it right here. Got a good look, Terry. You know what happened? Snow actually got hit by Mikey Moore. It's almost like in football when you go after the kicker and you get blocked into the kicker. He had contact with Moore, but he's got to make sure that he doesn't foul a jump shooter and now let Wald go to the line for three. Wald can make it a tie game if he makes all three. He is two of two from the strike today. Living out a dream to play Division I college basketball. Eighty-seven percent free throw shooter. That one looked pretty smooth. With nothing but net. Two more and we've got a tie game with .5 seconds to go. because they don't have any timeouts left. Boone calling for calm and quiet from the crowd. One shot, one foul shot for a tie game. Nebraska has the upper hand in overtime at home. The momentum after the penetration by Strickland. 
Strickland Brooks with the incredible shot off the glass. And Judd Heathcote really had this game under control in the last minute and a half. And his team, Westbrook, was, missed the one free throw mark, which was very crucial. He had every other one. you got to credit Nebraska for, for coming back. The proverbial door was left open. And Nebraska is taking advantage. They lead by three. Just underway in overtime. Michigan at 2-0, trying to stay unbeaten. Nebraska at 5-1. Straight man-to-man -man for Nebraska. An ISO play for Westbrook on the wing. Controlled. Here's Wall. The jumper was a little bit flat. Got his shot, but you're right. He was fading away, and it was flat. More turnaround. Got it. More making a contribution. Hey, are they cooking right now? Michigan State, if they uh, 
did a better job of shooting the free throws, this game would not be being played right now. And in stark contrast, the great drop at the free throw line by Nebraska. Wald hitting all three to send this game into overtime. You can see some of the battle scars taking its effect on fight. Makes both of them. It's a three-point game. Just to make a point on that, new blood rule this year. It, it, it is not if what is visible that you have to be taken out of the game. It's if it saturates your jersey or your uniform. So right now they're going to make him come to the sideline and put a towel on that, and they'll work on it. I think they're working on it right now just because it, it's bleeding. I mean, it's coming down his nose, but they've changed that rule, Mark. And a very bad time for this to happen because he's one of the guys inside. Polonowski is forced to come back into the game. Not quite the post-up presence that Fike is, but Polonowski on Brooks now, a forward, not on Boone. 2-10 to play in overtime. Tom Wald sent this game into overtime, making three consecutive foul shots with .5 to go in the game. Nebraska has led for the majority of the contest, but Michigan State led late in regulation time, only to give that lead away. Strickland covered by Snow. In and out, rebound Spartans. And a whistle against Michigan State. They may have gotten Respert on the board. The ball coming off the glass, and he may have pushed down the ball. That's a critical foul. Michigan State would have had the basketball. And Fike waiting on the bench, hoping to stop the bleeding. Not only does that look bad, but that's going to be hard to do. That, uh, you're trying to breathe, and you got that thing <laughs> coming out of your nose. You made that thing red. He looks like Rudolph. <laughs> It'll be red in a moment. Bonoski takes a seat. I guess they got a good cut man at Michigan State. Brooks misses the first of two. Well, you got Jerry Rice with the with the Band-Aid on the nose now, the breathable. Maybe this will catch up. Don't forget, folks, Diners Club Golf coming up next. It's a four-point game. Plenty, plenty of time for Michigan State, though. Minute 40 plus. Go ahead, just get a solid shot out of your offense. Looks like they're going to run their special for Restwood. Strickland has been going high side on those screens. They credit Wall with a good defensive job on Snow. He goes high side again and gets burned almost. It comes out. You're right. A hoop here would be very, very auspicious for Nebraska. 105 to play in the first overtime period. And a youngster, Weathers, only a sophomore, first year of playing Zach Boone. Straight to the floor now for Wall. Walled with a pretty nice handle. Restbert, a ball hawk in his own right. The miss, the rebound, back to the Spartans. Looked like Walled slipped a little bit as he went up. I, I think he did a nice job taking Restbert into the lane and just slipped going up to take that shot. A four-point lead for Nebraska. Restbert for three. A little long, Garavaglia with the rebound. Big boy. Another three attempt. Huh. And a poor miss. Who's it off? Horn Husker ball. You won't see Sean Respert miss that badly many times. Maybe about the only time you'll see a miss is in an overtime when it's been a, a battle of a game and he's awfully tired right now. That's it. Huskers take a timeout with a four-point lead in Lincoln. Tuesday. Oh, sweetheart. Hey, you. It's a house full of relatives for the holidays. So great to have babies in the house again. Yeah, there's nothing like a little projectile vomit to brighten up the holidays. Home Improvement, followed by Grace Under Fire, Tuesday on ABC. Sunday, their car's given out. Now what? So all the Jericho kids pitch in. Where do I start? Well, almost. When it comes to fixing cars, my idea of manual labor is reading from the manual. On our own, after America's Funniest Home Videos, Sunday here on ABC. ABC.
NBC Sports. Raycom College Basketball has been brought to you by Pizza Hut, where great food and fun times bring people together. Discus Athletic Activewear, Discus Athletic, the way America plays, and Toyota and their full line of quality cars and trucks. Toyota, I love what you do for me. Spartans with possession. It's a four-point game, Terry. And this is when you really get tired. I mean, you've played a game all game long. Westbrook's been chased all game, double teamed at times. He's had to fight through screens. Ball just won't go on the first shot. Next possession down, he had two shots and couldn't get the basketball to go. And I think that's just the legs right now. I find it interesting that Strickland, who's covering him, keeps going on the high side of that screen as opposed to trailing him or trying to fight through the screen. It hasn't worked so far. He was lucky that Westbrook missed that last three-point attempt. And we've seen him get burned on that. You have to fight through and be closer to, to a shooter. Nebraska with the ball, leading by four. Westbrook with the foul on Wald. And Wald is a fantastic foul shooter. Boy, what a story this guy is. Played Division II basketball in Mankato State. Had a great year, made all-conference there. Decided that he wanted to take a shot at major college Division I basketball. Sent out over 50 letters to different colleges and universities. They answered, and the one that really intrigued him was Nebraska. Danny Mee's staff decided to give him a scholarship, and I bet you they're extremely pleased with their decision right now. He sat out last year, watched and learned, and he has come full circle. A six-point ball game. Nebraska with the lead. Two-possession game. They need a three here. And they get the foul. Strickland not getting to the baseline in time. And the clock stops with 20 seconds to go. Well, Wald has had a lot of big free throws, two of which just came up. Danny Nee on the sideline gets the pump. And the fifth side. The fifth foul of the day on Strickland. And he sits down to a well-deserved bit of applause. The key part of the ball game for Strickland was the last minute of the game when he was able to drive the lane twice, Mark, and the penetration really created problems. He got one bucket, kicked off for another bucket, and he uh, he helped win this game with the, the bucket at, at the end of the game, and the wall, of course, sending in the overtime. If they do indeed win. Now, two-possession game. Westbrook goes to the line for two right here, so you can't get a three. It becomes more than a two-possession game, unless you get a rebound. Westbrook making the first of two, a five-point lead for Nebraska. Now, if you're Michigan State, Terry, do you foul right after the make? I think you have to from here on up. Westbrook with only one miss today from the strike. They get it in before the five count, and Brooks will go to the line. Interesting that Moore never really ran the baseline. After a made basket, you can run the baseline, but Moore, the sophomore, stayed right under the basket, which is the worst place to be when you're inbounding the ball. And Melvin Brooks, not the man you want at the line if you're Nebraska. He's only a 59% free throw shooter. They wanted to get it to Wald, obviously, or Boone. And Danny Nee was a little bit upset with uh, Mikey Moore. Brooks, the inbounds pass. Brooks at the line. We saw Michigan State blow their opportunity to put the ball game away from the foul line at the end of regulation time. Now Nebraska has an opportunity to put it away from the foul line. Still a five-point game. Westbrook steps back for three. A foul called, and that should just about do it. Very fitting that Tom Wall, the man who was fouled, is Nebraska in the remaining seconds is going to win this thing. He'll go back to the line. He had the three free throws with .5 seconds left in regulation, and he nailed all three to send this game to overtime. This is the type of victory, Terry, that when the people that make the decision start looking at the schedule at tournament time, It'll look very good for Nebraska with this kind of non-conference victory. Wald at the foul line. He put 
Tom Wall pretty much put his bed in the weight room. He bench presses well over 200 pounds, about 225 pounds. Improved his vertical leap from 28 inches to 35 inches. And he has put a lid on this one for Nebraska. Yeah, but you know what came through for him today? The bigness of his heart. I mean, that's how you hit three free throws to send the game to overtime. Danny Knee's team hands Michigan State its first loss of the season. And in the process, it proves to 6-1. For Terry Gannon, I'm Mark Jones. God bless and so long from Lincoln. A promotional fee is... Television Network.